Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with NTK Global. I'm here with Gary Cornish. This might be an absolutely stupid question, mate, but how are you feeling after a fight like that? Yeah, just uh, glad with the result, you know. They scrapped with the result. I just yep. they didn't, obviously didn't go to plan, but there was a lot of uh, disruptions in the, the camp there, as you previously mentioned with the other guys there. Uh, do you think with a proper camp, things might have gone differently there? Yeah, well, you've seen the first couple of rounds what we're working on, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and obviously just just part of learning. The the fitness came in a wee bit, to it, but it's just just part of it, you know. And for point to Sam, he did what he had to do mm -hmm. and got the result at the end. Well, obviously, one of them you would mention ten days with Johnny there, Johnny Roy. Um, like I said, do you think you're going from here and probably still make a name for yourself in this domestic division? It's like it's the heavy division domestically. It's quite a, still good, some uh, good names out there for you. Yeah. And you've proven you can do the top 12 rounds at championship level, so um, you still think you've got something to give? Yeah, uh, working with MTK as well, you know. Um, like I said before this fight, we had four four title fights offered us uh, abroad, Germany, Sweden, everywhere, you know, so why not take them now? Mm -hmm. we, wa we wanted to try to win that British title, but obviously it didn't happen tonight. But we can go on and get that get that international titles if we're still there. Well, going back to the fight there, you, you, you did hit Sam with some good shots in the, in the early rounds. Uh, I'm pr pretty sure it was the third or the fourth that you, you rocked him. Did you think to yourself, right, I've got him here, I can I can get this guy out of here? Or was he just a wily old veteran? <laughs> <laughs> He's experienced, you yeah. know. Uh, obviously, he got, uh, I caught him a couple, he caught me a couple as well. Uh, but we're both we're both still there at the end and for a point of, you know, I respect Sam and Hopefully we'll we'll meet up later, have a wee drink, and well congratulate him again. Good stuff. Um, I was going to say uh, the British title. You didn't win it this time round. Uh, obviously, it's widely documented that you you would have been the first Scottish heavyweight champ, uh, British champion, and all this sort of stuff. Is that still something that you're aiming for? Is that still something you want in your career? That British title. Yeah. Any. Uh, when you start boxing, you know you want to win titles, and that hasn't changed. No. Nah. Uh, like I said at the start, if we get more. More titles abroad and international titles being offered. Well, we'll take them. So you think a good camp with Johnny there? Uh, you'll go on and improve and get all these fights that you want. You've just mentioned. Yeah, definitely. You know, you've seen you've seen the first three, three, four rounds maybe three, four rounds, Johnny. Was it a fitness yeah. thing? Were you fit? You feel fit? Yeah. I felt fit, yeah. but then obviously, you know, what I mean, I've not done that many rounds before. It did come into a wee bit, and we did have a disruptive camp a wee bit. But I'm always, I'm always there. You know, I'm always fit. I'm always ready to go, but uh, working with working with Johnny, you see what we could do the first three, four rounds, you know, and uh, we'll, we'll work together more and we'll get we'll get that sorted. Well, for a guy that's uh, sitting there with cuts and bruises and just lost a British title, you, you seem off you still seem very happy and cheerful, and like your mood hasn't changed. It's it's quite a, a good proud Scotsman in you. Is that what it is? Yeah, like I said, there you know, uh, I respect some. I couldn't, couldn't have lost it to a nicer guy. Um, we'll, we'll meet up later. We'll, I'll congratulate him and hopefully we'll get a beer together. Yeah. You know, but nah, this, this is boxing, you know. I, I do boxing because I, like, I love it. Yeah. I love doing it. I love doing boxing. I love the training. Even for I'm a dirty bastard when I do it. You can ask my missus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's behind you. Uh, no, faces. no, I don't want to look around. <laughs> but hey, uh, hi. You know, you, you do get gurney when you're training, but I love it, you know. I wouldn't do it if I didn't love it. Like even I didn't get nervous for this fight mm -hmm. because what well, we'd be doing it if I didn't want to do it. It's the right attitude to have, guys. Yeah. You know. What we'd be doing it if I didn't want to do it, you know. If I, w if I was getting nervous, I'd be thinking, why am I doing this? Mm -hmm. But I do it because I love it, and that's what I want to do. Well, with that attitude, mate, I've got no doubt that you'll come again, and I look forward to many more interviews with you, mate. And thanks for doing this with such a disappointing night for yourself. Thanks for doing this by FLTV. Yeah, thanks, no guys. problem. Cheers, Thank mate. you.